Hello everyone, hello, welcome to 3M Challenge, I'm Hustle Great, be a fast for today's 3M tonight, we're going to be summoning the almighty powerful Alice Jack at 3M. Now make sure to like and subscribe, shout out if you are new, shout out to our subscriber who wants me to do this challenge, please go follow his YouTube channel, link will be down in the description below, comments will be at the end of the video, let's do the thing, let me explain about the 3M Challenge, 3M Challenge is real, it's completely dangerous, it's done by training professionals, if you are not a training professional, do not do this at home. This is for training professionals only. The 3M challenge is the entire pair next to me. We're going to go start all the supernatural power and etc. Where literally anything is possible, the summon literally at 3 a.m. comes to life from 3 to 4 o'clock. It is at maximum from 3, goes back down to normal. It's 4 things fine. So we're summoning Eyeless Jack. Wish me good luck. Now, the reason why I'm summoning Eyeless Jack is because I went to the Slenderman Mansion yesterday. I found out that Eyeless Jack was spying on my subscriber, Jackie. So, I've told them over and over and over to stop it, knock it off, and stop spying on my subscribers, because our motto is this. They mess with one of you, they mess with all of us. So, we're summoning Eilish Jack. We're going to be confronting him. We're going to be telling him not to spy on our subscriber friend, Jackie. That's right. Now, we're going to be doing the bedroom challenge. The bedroom challenge is basically an easier way to summon Eyeless Jack. So, there's a number one rule. There's 3M challenge. We'll all have to follow from thought to finish. Follow this number one rule. You should be golden. It is this. Ready? Okay. Don't skip a step. Don't skip two. Don't skip half. Don't skip the full step. Otherwise, the challenge won't work. Follow this number one rule from thought to finish. You should be golden. It is this. Ready? Okay. Oh. This is what I got. Yeah. I thought to change it and stuff. Does it look cool? Cool in my head? Tell me in the comments below. Does this purple bow tie hair clip look good on me? Tell me in the comments below. Plus, I would never wear it for Fazbear material. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> but tell me, tell me if you guys like it. I even got more bow bow tie hair clips. Yeah. Okay. Here's how the number one rule challenge goes. It's this. Ready? Okay. Set your alarm clock for 5 or 10 minutes before 3 and poke a water face off we got. Make yourself presentable. Read the instructions two times pre-starch. Have one of these drinks pre-starch, guys. Yes, I had GM. Okay. Have water, milk, soda, tea, chocolate, milk, chocolate, milk. He says there's no coffee. Cup run it long. Follow the number one rule. It should be golden. Here's the don't, for example. Wake up at 3 a.m. Right at 3 a.m. You have to sleep. You want some in Jeff, Slenny, Toby, Masky, Hoodie, Eyeless Jack, Eyeless Jill, uh, Slenderman, Sean Freddy, Golden Freddy, Huggy Wuggy, Mummy Long Legs. You're going to be half asleep. Even if you do a challenge half complete or fully, the challenge will not work. You gotta be explaining why we have to do it. Here's how we're gonna do it. Ready? Okay. <sighs> Set your alarm clock for power to MC4 or 3 and hook up on your face. Help what you got. Make it stop as edible. Read the instructions to talk to pre starch. Have one of these drinks before you start, guys. One of these drinks before you start. Have water, and milk, soda, tea, chocolate, baby, chocolate, milk. It says there's no coffee. Coffee night long. Lock the windows, lock the doors, turn off all the lights, go to bed, close the door, lock it, sit on your bed, turn off the light, look at the light wall. If it's got poster pictures on, guys, take it off. The challenge will not work if it's got poster pictures on. So take it off, do the challenge. 4 a.m. hits, you can put the poster pictures on. And, um, or if you go to sleep, wake up in the morning, you can put the poster pictures back on, guys. But the thing is... Keep them off the wall. The challenge will not work if they're on the wall. So look at the blank wall while the lights are off. Look at the blank wall. Close your eyes. Chant Eyeless Jack three times. Do it again, 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 and again. The more you do it, the higher chance for him to show up. So we'll chant his name three times. Nothing might happen or something might. It's been a while since I summoned him. So we'll do it again. We might hear footsteps. Which means the challenge is working. We do it again. If we hear and see him, we're going to be confronting him. And I'll be wielding my sky's blade. If things get out of hand... I'm literally going to tell him to stop spying on my subscriber, Jackie, our our subscriber family member. That's right. Next, I may have to punch him in the face. So if I, so if I punch him in the face, it's going to give me the opportunity to turn on the light. Once we turn on the light, we'll hear and see flash and lights of fantasy sounds only means. That's for you. Maybe we have to stay against the dream challenge. Now talking. Let's do this thing. One quick tip before you start. No cheating. No shortcuts. Do not put the camera straight out your face like this. Because your eyes will be focused on two things. The camera and the wall. If you want the challenge to work, your eyes will be focused on just the wall. Other thing is, do not put the camera straight out your face like this. Because the reflection on the camera will distract the dream challenge. And the dream challenge will not work. Follow this note. 
if you want it to work, follow this. Put the camera down here, record, look at the wall, it should be golden, and follow the number one rule from top to finish. And I'm talking, here we go. One quick thing. Yes, I know. I have summoned down this jack before. He took my kidney. That's right. I had to stitch myself up. I had to go to the Slenderman Mansion, tell Slenderman what happened, told Slenderman that I want my kidney back, literally had to annoy the crap out of Slenderman. Once I did that, Slenderman told Eilis Jack to give Mir her kidney back. So Slenderman, Jeff the Killer, and the Creepy Pasta Girls were with me, and I fell asleep because Slenderman told me to. I lifted up like half of my shirt for Slenderman and Eilis Jill to put my kidney back in my body. And I felt like it was like seconds when I was asleep. But when I realized it was 5 o'clock in the morning and I woke up, they told me that they put my kidney back inside my body. And it was like, it was like barely a scar of what Slenderman did. So I believe that Slenderman, one of his newly arms, uh, when he put it back in, he used some of his newly arms of his supernatural power to make me heal extremely fast and quick. So I thank Slenderman for that. Still haven't forgotten of what Alice Jack did. So wish me good luck. And I really hope that I do not get my kidney Take it out of my goddamn body again. Enough talking. Here we go. Let's do this thing. Light off. Okay, everybody. Tell me in the comments below if you hear or see Eilish Jack. Give me the timestamp. Let's do this thing. I'm going to regret literally nothing. Here we go. Eilish Jack. Eilish Jack. Eilish Jack. Okay. Nothing yet. Let's keep going. I'm not afraid of Eilish Jack. I fought with him before. Training sessions. Even when he stole my bloody kidney. I had to go to the mansion to get it back. And I had to make Eilish Jack put it back inside me. Thanks to Slender Man and Jeff the Killer. Yes, that happened. Eilish Jack. Eilish Jack. Alice Jack. I heard that. I heard that. I fucking heard that. I heard footsteps. Shit, he's coming. Oh, fuck. Alright, let's keep going. This is it. I regret nothing. Alice Jack. Alice Jack. Oh, boy. Alice Jack. Whoa. Alice Jack. Hi, how are you? How you doing? <laughs> you stay right there. I'm going to talk to you real quick. I went to the Slenderman Mansion yesterday, only to find out you were spying on my subscriber, Jackie. Like I've told the Creepypastas and everybody, you mess with one of us, you mess with all of us. And I do not want Jackie to have the same fate that I did when you took my bloody kidney. Yeah. You want to take his kidney? You want to spy and stalk him? You got to go through me. He's never summoned you. He's never summoned any creepypasta. Just because all you guys want and care for is the spy on the weak and the, and the defenseless. Or anyone that actually knows martial arts. And still can get beaten down by all of you creepypastas. One, if you want to spy on somebody, spy on me. My subscribers who have not summoned you, they have nothing to do with it. Some have summoned you, and some even want to summon you. You're literally dangerous, Eilish Jack. You're dangerous. And I'm not going to let you spy on my subscriber, Jackie. So, answer me this. Will you or will you not spy on my friend? Yes or no? Or will you stop? I want you to know that you what about are Jackie? Not safe. Pathetic life. This life is not pathetic and you know that. 
you fucking dare to laugh. Like this. That will teach you to mess with me or my friends. So unless you want another punch in the face, I suggest you stop as you do it. And this. Let on. Bye bye. Oh my god, I can't believe I punched him. Holy fastbird. Okay, let's review what the fuck just happened. Okay, okay, okay. I turn off the light, I look at the wall, I close my eyes, I chant, I wish Jack, three times, nothing happens. I do it again, we hear footsteps. We do it again, we hear and see him. I confront him, I tell him not to spy on any of you guys. Because our motto is, they mess with one of us, they mess with all of us. And he was talking, I'm like, there's no way you're taking Jackie's kidney. And believe me when I say this, I've summoned him before. And he has taken my kidney. I had to go to the Slenderman Mansion. Still bleeding. But I stitched myself up. And it hurt like hell. Yeah. So once I went to the mansion, I told Slenderman to tell Alice Jack to give me my bloody ass kidney back. So, Slenderman got... Eilish Jack to give me my kidney back, Slender Man and Jeff the Killer, and the other Gert Creepy Pasta girls. They helped me. They like literally had me lie down. Slender Man put me to sleep. I didn't even feel anything. I woke up. I saw like a little scar that, that was like completely healed and stuff. My kidney was back inside my body, Slender Man told me. And Slender Man used some of his strength from his newly arms behind his back to put the kidney back inside me. And there's barely a scar. It's like completely gone. It was like it was never even there. Yeah, I know, right? I punched Alice Jack in the motherfucking face. Holy fastback. That was awesome. I turn on the light. We hear and see flash and light to Betsy Towns. Only means one thing only. Did we make it? We made it. Wow. Wow. Okay. All right, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Shout out if you all are new. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. This was absolutely terrifying in every way. Catch you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Whoo. That was insane. Bye. And uh, again, I hope you guys enjoyed my new um, bow, bow tie clip. Yeah. Thought I'd make a good change. <sighs> Bye, guys.